Welcome back, Jefferson Jaguars. We hope you had a very restful and relaxing break. Today, we're going to start our adventure into coordinate planes and geometry. <clears throat> this is a coordinate plane. I know that you've seen this quite a few times. I want you to understand the first thing is that this is only quadrant one. Secondly, I want you to understand that we have two lines that we're going to deal with. And we always have only two lines, no matter what quadrant we're working in. In fifth grade, you will work mainly in quadrant one. You have the x-axis. This is the line that runs horizontal. And then you have the Y axis. And this line runs vertical. Another very special place is the origin. Origin is zero. Now when we're dealing with coordinate planes or coordinate grid, you're always going to be given what's called an ordered pair. You'll be given two numbers. As such, 3 and 7. The first number is always x and the second number is always y. x is also known as the run and y is known as the rise. So we will always run before we rise. Or you can think of it like the alphabet. X always comes first. X, Y, Z. So we go on the X line over 3. And then we go up 7. And then we plot the dot. That is the coordinate graph and the ordinate ordered pair. For the coordinate plane, or graphing on a coordinate plane, is the additive and multiplicative properties of the coordinate grid. The multiplicative property simply means we are multiplying. And the additive means that we are adding. I know that I'm multiplying because I have y equals a times x. I see that I have 3 and 9. I know that I'm multiplying. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 3 is 15. Therefore, I can fill these in. 4 times 3 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 7 times 3 is 21. Now I can take these numbers and I can put them in ordered pairs. 3 and 9, 4 and 12, 5, 15, 6, 18, 7, 21. Now I can come to my graph, my coordinate grid, and I can plot these. I know that this is my x and this is my y side. x always comes first. So I go 3, up 9. Plot that. That was point 1. 4, 12. Go to 4, up to 12. That was plot two. Go over to five, up to 15. Six, up to 18. And seven to 21. 
And that's how we use the multiplicative patterns to get from my rule, which is multiplying by 3, to the coordinate grid. Let's try that again with the additive pattern. I see my formula, and I know that I'm adding. I have 3 and 9, 5 and 11. How did I get from 3 to 9? I added 6. So this, in reality, is y equals x plus 6. So now I come to all the numbers in the x, and I add 6 to them. 6 plus 4 is 10. 6 plus 6 is 12. 7 plus 6 is 13. And then I write my ordered pairs. 3, 9. 4, 10. 5, 11. 6, 12. And 7, 13. Once I have my ordered pairs, I can then come over to my coordinate grid and plot them. My first point is 3, 9. I go over 3, I go up 9. That is also the same point for exercise number 2. Then I go 4, 10, 5, 11, 6, 12, 7, 13. So ladies and gentlemen, I have successfully completed both the additive and the multiplicative patterns and plotted my, cord my ordered pairs onto my coordinate grid.